Ankit Jain. I welcome you all to my channel Tech Journey with Ankit. In today's video, we will explore how you can integrate the Postman to the data cloud. Again, it is one of the very common requirement whenever we start with the uh, uh, data cloud that we have to check whether the data is actually available or not. And one of the way we can do that using the Postman as well. Like we integrate uh, Salesforce with the Postman. There are kind of a similar steps that we have to follow, but there are additional tricks and tricks that needs to be done whenever we are connecting the Postman to the data cloud to validate our data or to make a query to our data or to ingest your data into the data cloud. So one of the common tools that we always use for the integration is the Postman. We will be using the same tool here. So before we get started, in case you folks like to have one to one connect with me, you can do that on the top mat. You can also join the Telegram channel as well, where we do discuss the different queries that you encounter in your Salesforce journey. Moreover, on the top mate, I have put my notes on the data cloud. So again, if you navigate to the top mate from the video's link description, you will get lots of different books which are available related to the admin, related to the interview preparation. In case you folks have followed the LWC bootcamp and along with the code that is also available. Moreover, the new book that I have published, it is related to the data cloud. In this book, I will be talking about the, all the concepts that we frequently used in the data cloud. So you will see that in this book, I'll be covering this many different topics, introduction to the data cloud, to the data modeling, ingesting, harmonizing, unifying, realizing with proper description and the end-to-end -end explanation as well. So I hope you've also found this book helpful like my previous books as well and give lots of love to this book as well. Again, I am repeating this book is very detailed about the different things that we do have in the data cloud. This book will also help you to clear your data cloud consultant certification as well. Now, without further delay, we can get started with the today's agenda where we try to integrate the postman with the data cloud. Make sure that you first have your data cloud org available. In case you don't know how to provision your data cloud, I have put the again another link in the video description uh, of my another video where I have explained how you can create your data cloud org for your testing as well as the learning purpose. Make sure that before you go and try out this uh, integration between the postman and the data cloud, you already have the data stream uh, with few number of records, right? Because we have in this video, we'll try to read the records from the data model object and that is the individual object. So make sure that the data streams are already loaded with the data. Moreover, you can also come to the query editor and try to execute the query whether the records are available or not. So for example, here I'm trying to execute the query from the individual object. So let me go and do that. And here I am looking for the let's say last name from the individual object. And if I go and run my query, you guys will see that I am getting the few sets of records here. Again, here in my query, I have put the limit as 10. That's why I'm getting the 10 number of records. You can also do the similar validation from the data explorer as well. But as a kind of a prerequisite, two things are required once your org is provisioned and you at least have some data loaded to your data strip. If this is good, then we can switch to integrate the postman with the data cloud org. So first thing, make sure that you are logged into the postman from the web. I'm using the web version here. If you're okay with the desktop version, you can do that. Now, coming to the first step, we will go and create the workspace here. So let's say here I am creating the workspace. So for that, again, sorry, we don't have to type anything here. Click on this button, create workspace. Keep the option here as the blank workspace. Click on next. Here you can give the name of the workspace. I'm giving the workspace name here as data cloud learning. I will be only using that workspace. So I'm taking that option here as only me and creating that workspace here. Now the next thing, what I need to do, I need to go and get the APIs up from the Salesforce. I need to get that collection. So here I will navigate to the search data cloud, sorry, to the search Postman app. And here I will go and look for the search Salesforce platform APIs. There are lots of APIs that Salesforce do provide. So make sure that you guys are taking the Salesforce platform API and make sure you are getting those which is marked under the Salesforce developers. So here I'm selecting that one. There are lots of different APIs that Salesforce do explore, but for this scenario, we are only interested in the data cloud API. So here I am taking this data cloud API 
and creating the fork out of it. Fork means nothing but creating a clone out of it. So here I go and create the fork and giving the fork name here as data cloud fork. You can give any name. Make sure that the workspace that you have created just before that workspace is selected here and click on the fork collection. In this way, now we have created the fork. We can go and modify the fork. We can go and modify the APIs and do test the APIs within that fork. But as of now, we have only created the fork. We have not done any authentication from the postman to our uh, data cloud org. Again, to do that, it's a two step process here. The step number one, first we have to go and authenticate with the platform. So for, to do that here, click on the top folder, click on the authorization, scroll down, take this option here. That is the get new access token. In case you are already logged in, make sure that your username is coming up here. Based on the username, you can click on the allow button and do the authentication. Here I click on proceed and then I am asking the system to use that token. Right now I am authenticated with my platform. As I said, it's a two step process. Once you have authenticated to the platform, there are a few other variables that system needs to populate that it is a tenant variable because whenever we are integrating with the data cloud, Basically, we are integrating with the tenant. Again, how to check the tenant? Just an FYI, you have to navigate to the data cloud setup, and here you will see the tenant details, right? So we have to go and integrate with this tenant. To do that, you will see that there's another folder that is available here, that is the auth folder. And again, Salesforce have made the authentication very easy from the data cloud. They have written lots of scripts here that will run in the back end whenever you go and perform your authentication. You don't have to do much actually here. What you have to do, you have to come here and you have to click on the send button. It will send the authentication request and if everything goes good, you will be authenticated. What is generating as a part of this? You will be getting the access token from the Salesforce, which is for the data cloud, right? So here again, if I take you to the parent folder, just for the validation, you guys can see that now the tenant URL and the very important thing that is populated here, that is the tenant token. This is the DC tenant token means it's a token for your data cloud here. So once that part has been done, once you have populated the URL and once you have populated the DC tenant token, you are successfully authenticated postman with the uh, Salesforce. Now let's go and do quick validation whether my integration is working as expected or not. So here I am navigating to the query API too. This is the one way of executing the queries on the data cloud using the query API. Here we will be using the post query upload post query method to do that. So here you can see whenever we are sending our query, we are using the post method. And here this is the tenant URL with which we have to do the integration. Coming to the authorization, it will take the token that just now we have received. Again, this token will also available for only certain time. After certain time, this token will also be expired. So what I'm doing here is I'm putting my uh, query to validate. I already written the query. Just now I have shown you this query. So I'll copy this query because I want to validate whether I'm getting the similar kind of an output from the postman or not. And here I am putting my query. Control V, right? Now in my query, I need to make sure that I am putting this into the quotes and whatever the additional quotes which are available, I am simply taking out those additional quotes from the query. Right now, this is how my query will look like. Again, you don't have to change the structure. The structure needs to be the same. The method needs to be the same. Only thing that you will change is by putting your query here for which you have to go and get the data and then click on the send button. If everything goes good, you guys can see that we are getting the data from the data cloud in our postman as well. A small and sweet video, with the help of which I tried to explain how you can connect the postman with your Salesforce cloud and fetch the data. Now using this integration, you can either go and ingest the data, you can make the queries on the profile API, you can make the queries on any data model or the data lake objects, even on the calculated insights as well. I hope you folks found this video helpful and got few learnings as well. Also, folks, in the future, I am planning to come up with a detailed data cloud 
video series where I will be explaining each and every term in very detail. And in my series, I will be following this book only for the learning purpose. Uh, so in case you folks wants to download this book, make sure that do check out the top mate to get that book. Moreover, not only this book, there are a few other books which are available, which are again very highly rated. And I got very good feedback from the most of you that you are finding this particular books very helpful in your learning as well. For the time being, thank you. Have a good time.